because every time I think I'm getting pretty good, I run into somebody like Professor Jay or James DeMaio or, or Ernie Boggs or you know one of these guys, and I go, oh, I better keep training, okay? Because I don't want to meet one of those guys on the street and have them upset with me. So I just continue to keep training, all right? The Kajikimbo system, just to give you a little background on it, the name itself represents uh, a lot of different things, okay? Kaju Kenbo. The K-A is karate. The J-U is judo and jiu-jitsu. The K-E-N is short for Kenpo, hard style. And the Bo is Chinese boxing or the fluid style, anything that, that flows, so to speak, okay? So our system, the Kajikimbo system, is a combination of a lot of things. And then every time we go to the seminar, we try to pick out a few things that we can take with us and incorporate into Kajikimbo and it just becomes part of what we do. The main theme of what I'm gonna teach you today is pain, okay? All right, I don't care how you inflict pain on the bad guy, whatever comes into your mind or imagination, let loose with it today, okay? Because I'm gonna show you some of the things I do. If you can improve upon it, then be my guest, okay? Um, who wants to go first? Eric, please, okay? And they're just, they're just going to do a couple of Kajikimbo techniques. And it incorporates a lot of things. You'll see Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Aikido, Kung Fu, a lot of different things in it. And then we'll get into the class and we'll let you beat up each other. And then we get to come around and beat you up too. So, but it's all in having fun. Okay, go ahead, guys. <laughs> So you see a little bit of everything in there? Come on, yeah. Good. Okay. Next. John? John's only 18. He got his black belt last month. So we have to tie him down with a couple pieces of rope, okay? All right, go ahead. saying what goes around comes around so normally if you beat somebody up they get to beat the hell out of you sooner or later okay, go quick I'm over 40, so. and he's over 40 so I get away with it by the way you see it's doing a lot of stuff we're not gonna do all that on the street okay we're just gonna do whatever it takes to win all right so if we can smack you once and walk away that'll be it but if we can do it, have to do a lot to stop you completely, then that's what we're going to do. Okay, go. Quick. Next. Quick. This is basic Kedja Kembo, combination of a lot of things. First technique I'm going to show you, the first thing I'm going to show you is when this punch is coming in at you, no matter what it is, you want to get this out of the way and step in and just, just strike, okay? So this is just one from here, this comes in, strike, smack him here. From here, you're going to kind of collapse into the next move, okay? So from here, this comes in, what you want to do is you want to compound the injury. In other words, if I can crack a rib with this here, my next move, please shove those broken pieces in to do some damage. And if you attack on the, on the right side of his body, you got more internal organs to, to do some damage to. Okay, so from here, the first thing, you're going to stand there with your partner. This hand, come in slow because I don't know, I don't want anybody to get smacked in the mouth. But this hand here, all you have to do is deflect this. Okay, it doesn't take a lot. Get this out of the way. Hey, strike. Hey, elbow. Okay, so everybody pick a partner. Stand up, and all you're going to do is knock this out of the way. Step in, strike. 
and then collapse into the elbow Jeez. strike to the same spot. Okay, if you have any questions, these guys will be rotating around to help you, okay? And put your shoulder into it when you, when you collapse into it. Bam, there you go. Because the, the next one you're going to... Cool. And you want to hit him with the point of your elbow. You're hitting here, yeah. too much cushion. Okay, so in here for safety, you want to hit him with the, the cushion. On the street, you want to poke that. If I break this rib here, when I come in here, I want to shove that into his liver right there. In this part. Okay? So you do it. This, this block, you kind of want to get it just up to expose the ribs. From here, this is out. Just slap it. Just slap it. Okay. All I have to do is from here, get this out of the way. I'm going to move this way too. Boom. And then you drop your body to get under. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's what we're talking about because like, it felt like you, know, you had Cause to it, really get her. Because kind of the pox you kind of pump it. Yeah, right. Exactly. You're kind of punching it. It might go down. Okay. So that's you just have to be sure and get under it. Right. Okay, you want to get it to the side from here. This is coming in here. That's all I have to do. Just like a gun, if he, if he has a gun pointed here, this is a dangerous part. So from here, the fist is a dangerous part. I just have to re realign this here. Okay. Strike. Okay. Didn't hurt, did it? Good. Okay. <laughs> it's not my position to hurt anybody. Okay. Today. Today. Okay. Okay. No, hit first. Compound the injury. First one is break a rib or crack it. Second one, shove it in. Okay. So. Okay. So you're compounding your first strike. Now drop. It. And you want to eliminate from here. You want to eliminate drawing back. So you want to hit. Collect. Okay. Okay. All right. The more you draw back, the more time it takes. Can I, can I it three yeah. Like oh yeah. Three inch yeah. Punch, like, you know. Whatever makes you go crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Good. That's it. And then as always, as soon as you learn the technique, speed and power will follow. Okay, so just practice the technique and then when you get home you can practice both sides. Okay? okay. Good. Okay. Do, did you do the punch first? Yeah, and then I kept going okay. through with it. Here. One, two. And your whole body is gonna be in that elbow. Okay? Yeah, we're finding out. <laughs> okay, good. Again, let's add one thing to it. Sometimes these seminars, I've, I've taught before, I, you teach too many things, people have trouble taking it home with them. Okay? My policy when I go to seminars, like if, when you're here for two days, if you take one good thing home with you out of everything you learned today, all right, then, there, then the whole trip is worthwhile. Okay? So whatever you learn from, from different people in here today, try to remember some things to take home so you can practice some more. Where's John? Please. Okay? So from here now, you want to from here, this punch is coming in, so you got this, the strike, the elbow. Now you're just going to add to it. Remember what I said about compounding the damage here, all right? So I come in here, I break his rib, shove the broken pieces into his liver, lungs, heart, whatever's available, especially on the right side. Then from here, if my elbow's here like this, come back with a hammer fist. Just come back with this. So you did the same strike to the same, same area of uh, the striking thing here. So I'm coming in, hit here. It's all to the same one or two ribs, the floating ribs here. Break, compound, compound. If you want to do some more, knee. So you did the same, all those broken pieces in there are all cutting up the inside of them. This is not for kids, okay? So you want to just do as much damage internally as you can. I can punch him up here and give him black eyes and doing all that stuff. If I do what I'm doing here, it's gonna hurt a lot more, okay? More damage, okay? So now, from here, this is just a little deflect. Strike, elbow, hammer fist. Okay, let's do that. Everybody up? <laughs> Take it easy on how much power you use on that hammer fist, because right up under here, boy, that's a, a, it's kind of tender. Okay, so don't hurt your partner. Too much. Bam, good, that's it. Speed and power will follow, okay? All I want to do is de deflect this, get it out of the way. Strike, elbow, hammer fist. Okay. Let me have your attention for just a second. Maybe I should have started this with this animal instinct. Okay. This animal instinct thing has to be on your face when I come around watching you. 
Okay, if I see a couple of guys working out and they're, where's John again? You're getting the beating. If, if he's throwing a punch at me and I'm coming in and I'm going, strike, strike, strike. As far as I'm concerned, if he's a bad guy, I got two daughters. He just raped one of them. Okay, I'm really in a bad mood now. Okay, so if he kind of, if I get in a fight, if he comes up and we're fighting, he's fighting about a parking place or something, or I bumped into him in the, in the hallway or something like that, if I have to fight, I'm not fighting about a parking space or anything. As soon as I decide that I'm going to encounter this guy and we're going to go into physical violence, he just raped my daughter. That puts me in a mental state to take him out. Okay, so when you're practicing, you have to be able to conjure up this, this animal instinct. Okay, the way I do it is I say, he just raped my daughter, so he's in big trouble. All right, whatever it does, if somebody slaps your grandmother, some of the ladies, if somebody slaps your kid, something like that, you're going to fight like an animal. So when you're doing this, you want to get this, oh, this is here. Okay, your whole attitude changes. You bring out this animal instinct. It's like, bam, this is here. Bam, this is here. If you're going to continue, you go ahead and continue with it. Whatever it takes to stop him. But you have to have that control over that animal instinct. So when you're doing this, start thinking about somebody hurting somebody you love or that your life is in danger. And then practice it. It makes a big difference on how you move. Okay? And then you do whatever it takes. If this doesn't work for you, do whatever works for you when you're on the street. Okay? All right, let's add, while I'm here, we're going to do the one more thing. From here, one, two, three, whoops, one, two, three. Then from here, the hammer fist. Then you're just going to take him from here and drive this knee into the same rib. Okay? So just start doing that. Okay? Everybody up? Get me. Whoa, nice. All right. All right. Ooh. Good. Good. And then you just keep going crazy. Hey, but don't hurt him. Hey, hey. Not here. Tomorrow you can. Hey. Okay. You see that animal instinct on your face. Okay. Be sure that first strike is solid. I won't, yeah. I won't hit you. From here, be sure this this has got to come in. And wham! And it's got to kind of pop that, that rib. Okay. Then the second one, the third one, and then the knee. You just take it. But that first one has to crack something. Okay, in reality. Okay. okay. And keep in mind, when you draw back, if I come in here and I pop this and I draw back, that's too much time wasted. You want to just collapse. From here, bam! This is here. This is here. So everything pivots. From here, strike. From here, this just pivots. From here, just pivots. Up. By the time you get to this, these should be cracked twice, right? Okay. And then when you get to driving that knee through, then he's going to come up here. Then he's come down here to the front, take his eyes. Through. Okay. Do a lot more. Okay. Good. Okay. That hurts, huh? You hurt me before. <laughs> cool. Okay. Make sure you get this floating ribs here. If you get up here, too much meat. Okay. okay, you want to stay down underneath the, the, the pecs here. Get down here. Pecs. Pecs. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay, yeah. from here. Just, just stay in these floating ribs down here. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. And get mean. You got kids? Apes. Huh? No, I haven't. You got any kids? You got a grandmother? Yep, hey. He just beat the hell out of your grandmother. Okay? okay? Yep. So you look at him and you say, Mm -hmm. And you just build this up and you get this adrenaline flowing, okay? And then you're going to hit him and strike, do everything with some knowledge and ability, okay? Then you're going to destroy him. But you have to get this animal into I'm sure you have it. It's just, you, know, you got a lot of it, okay? Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, good. Nice, there. Good. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> then you come in here, drop this, drop the elbow, drop this, then you're going to do the knee. After you do the knee, from here, boom, this is here. Come down, elbow to the spine if you want. I'm not going to have you do this, I'm just showing you a little alternative. From here, when this comes here, this collapses down, grab his face, get his eyes, and just rip. Boom. Okay, if you get a chance, come over here, there's a little edge of your arm, your wrist here, take his throat. That's all it is. From here and across. Maybe we'll do that one. Okay. From here. The next one you're going to do, from here he's standing in front of you, you pop this shoulder this way, okay, spin him around. If he goes all the way, you go into a choke. Okay? If he doesn't go all the way, he only goes halfway, here, take his throat. This part here, be careful when you do this. You do it fast. See what happens? That's what I want to do. Okay? 
So from here, you come around, have him go halfway, take his throat. If he goes all the way by mistake, go right into a choke. Bring him back. Okay? So we'll do this one first. Two things at the same time. Hit, pull, spin, take this halfway. If he goes all the way around, go into a choke. Everybody up? This part right here, this is gonna come. Just keep your head like this, pull, see what happens. And you push it in and pull it this way. Yeah. So it's, it's from here. Okay. If I, if, I, if I rip this and I have pressure inside like this, it's gonna take out your, so at least cause you a lot of choking. Okay, then you go on and do the choke if you want. But if he only goes halfway, you take it this way. If he goes all the way around, just go into a choke. You guys do that. We do choke. Good. Good. You're smiling too much. Of course. No, that's, yeah. no, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Go ahead. Matter of fact, one of the professors told me something. I'll tell the group in a second. Go ahead. There you go. Good. Okay. Now do it. Just spin her halfway. Half Try that. Yeah. But be careful on the throat. Good. And it just and it's pressure from here. It's pressure that way as you come across. And yeah. See. So, yeah. Okay, so it's not just coming across the front. You got to put pressure towards the back of their neck, and then you dig this in over here, and then it just comes straight across. You feel that on your, on your esophagus, right? And it starts to cut off the wind. Okay. What sort of damage does it do if you're in the? Oh, from here. Feel this? I mean, the the, yep. the, the chopping part of it is going to crush this sideways. Bam! So with this here. Okay, so you're basically taking your air away. I'm okay. crushing it. Yeah. Okay, so but go this way and you're still in that momentum, right? Uh -huh. And then yeah. come back this way and I'm yes. gonna come this way right here. Do you feel this? Too much playing. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay. Okay? Thank All right. You. Do it gently. Okay. I'm sorry, you wanna try? Make him gay. Make him gay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, if you don't get that reaction from him, then something's wrong, you're not doing enough. And he should be able to take that. He'll be slapping or break break or something, okay? But if you don't get that reaction, then on the street, you go like that, it's too late. Okay, so you want to have your partner feel it. Okay? If you don't feel the pain, if you don't feel the choking motion in that, then, it's, then you need to practice it more. You want to get as real as you can without hurting your partner. Okay? So go here, and this comes here, and I'm coming back. across the legs. Right? From here, feel this, cutting across. And if I don't make it to the air, pipe here mm -hmm. and there's a nerves right here yeah. okay so either way I'm gonna do some damage right yeah. and if I if, and this is after you get past the kicks and punches you get into a grappling situation okay and say the guy comes in he grabs okay and you're doing bam bam and you're doing this and then he drops and you're kicking or something boom go here boom and come back okay so you want to make sure that when you do this the motion is coming back here but it's in almost going to the back of his neck and coming through and just ripping his neck Okay, but the main function of this is to cut off the air. Okay, but if, if, if lack of this, I'd come across take his eyes. There's a lot of variations. Okay, but you have to do it like you mean it, without hurting your partner. Okay. All right. Anything you can do to inflict pain on the bad guy, be my guest. But the bad guy's not going to let you get close enough. Okay, to do this all the time, it's going to be in a grappling situation most of the time. You see the guys on the Ultimate Challenge and everything, and they're. They're down there for 15, 20 minutes and that, and they're, they're still trying to get that choke in and everything. John, please. But I had a conversation with Professor Jay, and I always try to give credit to the people that, that show me different things, all right? But you don't see them doing this, okay? In the ultimate challenge, that hurts, right? Yes, sir. Okay, kneel down. <laughs> see? Okay, I'm trying to get a choke. I have this on here, okay? And I say, hey, tuck your chin down, okay? And I want to do the choke. Raise your chin. <laughs> He'd be glad to raise his chin. Okay. Same thing with this one on the on the fingernail. Anything. <laughs> okay. But if we're in a grappling situation, I get him down on the ground. I got my legs around him. I got his head in a headlock and all this kind of stuff. And I'm trying to get this under here to get the choke. All right. And he won't raise it. Sure, I can whap him up the side of the head. But if I just pinch under his arm, okay, or pinch under his between it <laughs> and the flag, okay, whatever you do to inflict pain on the guy is going to make him twitch. Normally, if the guy doesn't feel any pain, get a gun and shoot him, if he's a bad guy. But if you can make the guy twitch, you should be able to apply something that's going to be a little more devastating, a little more deadlier. Okay? So if I get him here, and just, everybody just pinch underneath your arm, it's gently, okay? 
just gently pinch under your armor. That's a lot of pain, okay? And uh, just make him twitch. Police officers, I don't, any police officers here? Any, oops. Okay, gotta be careful, okay? But if, if, if two cops are walking this bad guy to the, to the lockup, right, and the cameras are on him, right, we can't do anything to him, right, unless he resists. So the other guy's got his other arm, and I'm going, is he, is he jumping? He's twitching? Okay, so as soon as he starts to twitch, the camera looks like he's trying to hurt me, right? So then we can do something else, okay? <laughs> so you gotta be... <laughs> and if, if I go like this, see, he tried to kick me, right? I want him to kick me, okay? Don't tell any police officer I told you that, okay? I get in trouble. <laughs> I do it all the time. All the police officers are going, yeah, yeah, that's true, okay? So the, the one with the fingernail on that, you don't see that in the ultimate challenge. You don't see him doing the finger locks and all this, uh, the small circle stuff. Why? I don't know. I can't figure it out. Because it works, right? Anybody shook hands with Professor J? <laughs> Everybody knows this works, okay? But you have to, to inflict the pain, you can pinch under here. If he gets me in a headlock, you got a cup on, right? Yes, sir. Okay. If he gets me in a headlock, I can be nasty, okay? Just a little anatomy for a second, okay? Down at the spinal column, at the base of the spinal column, is a, a little little notch bone like this called the coccyx. Okay, in the front is this big bone, the the, the uh, pelvic bone. Okay, you laugh. I, 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 just part of the, the fun. Okay, so, so from here, I'm gonna take the butt of this hand and the butt of this hand, and that's laughing. Okay, and I'm gonna break off that little piece of tailbone there. Okay, bam, bam here. So he gets me in the headlock. That's the nasty way to do it. Okay, so from here, he's got me in the headlock. I'm gonna tuck my head so he can't hit me in the face. Bam. I'm gonna pop that little. The, the tailbone, okay? Just want to break that. That's a nasty way to do it. From here, give me the headline. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and that hurts. So now I'll pinch on the inside of your thighs. Okay? That hurts, okay? I mean, this is a lot of pain. If you don't feel the pain, raise your hand. I got something else. <laughs> okay? So you can, you can understand, but the main thing is inflict the pain to make him twitch, all right? So everybody stand up. All right? One of you get the other one in a headlock. Don't do this one. Don't do this one unless your partner wears a cup and you, you practice it, okay? And when he's got you in a headlock like this, just reach here and just pinch the inside of his thigh, okay? And if you pinch it and he doesn't twitch too much, get a good thumb and a foreknuckle here and twist it, okay? Then the, your partner can explain why they've got these bruises here when they get home. I'm 54 years old. If I come up to him, if I get in a fight that lasts more than 10 seconds with this guy, I give up. Okay, but I'm hell for 10 seconds, okay? But this, this is the idea that he's not gonna let me come up and, and pinch him, okay? We're gonna be in a, in a physical confrontation here and he's gonna probably have his hands on me and we're gonna be fighting and wrestling and grappling and everything and get to the ground. So these kind of things are only designed to get his attention away from whatever he's trying to do to you, okay? And the brain will normally go to the pain. Wherever the pain is, his mind is gonna go there. Okay, for that hair of a second. When it goes there for that hair of a second, I have to use that window of opportunity to do something nastier. Okay, whatever is in, in your forte, whatever you do in your school, use that pain thing to get to it and to do that damage. Okay? Pulling hair is another thing here. I don't want to insult anybody that doesn't have a lot of hair, but we're going to do this. Um, get your partner, okay, and I'll let him do this to me. I don't let these guys beat up on me in case you didn't notice. Okay? I got 54, I'm a little smarter. But grab the back of your partner's hair and pull down. See, he's just getting me pissed off, okay? I pull hard. See, he's, he's just aggravating me, okay? But now, just gently, he knows better than to do this too hard. Just pull up, ah, okay? So if you're in a fight and you get behind here and you grab the guy's hair, especially this, okay, and you pull down, see, he's just getting angrier, all right? But as soon as I go up, this has got his attention. His brain is back here going, ouch, okay? But then you do this little circular motion and you take him down, do whatever you want. Where the head goes, the body follows, okay? So get with your partner, grab around behind their hair and pull down and, and let your partner tell you how hard to pull down so you don't hurt him, because it will hurt eventually. And pull down as hard as you can until they tell you to stop and then gently pull it up. But if you yank it up, your partner's gonna be a little upset, okay? And if you don't have much hair, we got a solution for that. See this ear over here? Just grab that ear, okay? And you guys get junk mail? You get junk mail at the, from the post office? You get that? Every time you tear anything that's got like four, five, six thicknesses of paper inside from here, that's his ear coming off. So every time you tear up that junk mail, you're practicing, 
Okay? I want you to think about me every time you're doing that. Ah, I got his ear, okay? <laughs> Souvenir. Okay? So pair up, do the part, the hair thing here. Pull down and then gently pull up. Okay? Go ahead. Anybody had teachers that did that to them? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. Make your eyes water. Yeah. Right? Okay, so if I do this, bam, and I'll smack you, right? That's all you want to do is get him to twitch. He'll twitch, he's blinking. Alright, so from here I can do something, I can just go here. Okay, so from here to here, whatever I want to twitch, and then do something else. I can go from here and break his collarbone, just from, with a little snap here. Okay, all I want to do is get his attention. Okay, I yank this up or I pull his hair up, feel this? Okay, from here I can just do the one inch punch and everything, same philosophy. Bam! And just come down here and pop that collarbone. Or start working on these nerves in here. Okay, but this, if he doesn't have the hair to pull, then just play with his ear here. Okay, pull it up and down, yank it around. Okay? Yeah, no. <laughs> all right. Just so you get him to twitch. That's all you want to do. Get him to twitch and then, then think about what you're going to do after. Okay? Go ahead. Do your chin down. There, see? Okay, now. <laughs> and then if I do this and turn you sideways, I'm going to take your eyes. Okay? All right, good. So, see, you got, yeah, you got enough. No, you don't. Uh, so you grab his ear. If you fight a guy with an earring, huh? you just yank it. <laughs> okay? All right. Yes. Pardon me? The hair? Yeah, Okay. Now, if I pull down, just keep your chin there. Resist. Resist. See it? Just push you off, right? Right. Okay? Now, I do this. So you get your attention. Oh, yeah. went there. And then, take your eyes. Take your eyes. Okay? Well, it's quite well. Anybody have any questions about anything that we did so far? Nope? Okay. Um, John, please. On this side. And put your right foot forward. Okay? Um, let's see, everybody, just, you're in a, like a kneeling position or this, like this. Put your foot out in front of your partner like this, okay? Remember the, the fingernail thing? I don't know if you were in Professor Jay's, this here. Okay, same thing works on the toes, okay? Same thing works on the toes. You dig your, t your right in the base of the cuticle here and dig in and down. Whatever you do to the, the nails up here will work on the toenails. So that's another thing of pain. If he's got me down on the ground and I have access to his foot, then I can do this. Go down. Okay. So if I have this here and I want him to, that's a lot of pain. It's a lot of pain. He's a pretty big guy. I'm afraid he's going to kick me just from reacting to the pain, so I have to be careful. Okay. And then Professor Jay has a, the toe lock in that too. But just working on this, on the big toenail. Okay. Push down and in. Push down and in on the next one. All the way down to the little toe. But if I'm down on the ground, he's standing up or we're wrestling around. You see guys fighting all the time and wrestling and that. And they got him pinned and nobody can move. But if you get this right to here and grab his toe, is that going to hurt? I didn't do it yet. <laughs> okay. All right. So if I get him to twitch like that, I should be able to roll him over and get into something else over here. Okay. To lock this. Okay. Don't forget if you happen to get a guy in this position, okay, and you push here like this, go ahead and push back. He's got a lot of power, a lot of strength. Okay. So you just push the toes over. Push. See, so now the more he pushes, the more he's hurting himself. Okay, so keep, if you haven't learned this before, just keep that in mind. Okay, and then you can lock him up. Okay, all right, come back up. Okay, so you're in front of your partner. You have your foot forward. What I want you to do is instead of this toe thing, right here at the top of the, the foot, just pinch it. So all you gotta do, use your, your four knuckle here and your thumb and just pinch it. Feel it? <laughs> we got a gentleman here, he's got a high tolerance for pain. So my, my attitude in a short period of time here is to tell him, if I can't make, it, make you twitch with the pain, okay, I gotta kill you real quick, okay? So if he doesn't flinch when I do something like this, as soon as I get an inkling that it's not, it's not gonna work for control or to, to do something, I have to do something else, okay? So you just hope you don't run into this guy on the street and try some of this stuff, because he, he had absolutely no reaction to pain on his foot. Did you feel this? Say, you don't feel it? Okay. So, and that's a word of caution. Somebody like this, if, if he doesn't feel the pain and you're working with me and I get you in a wrist lock or something like this and I'm cranking this on and he doesn't feel the pain, this will break before he feels the pain. So he's, you're, you'd be in, in, in danger, okay? So keep that in mind while you're training, all right? But a good example. So from here, you just have to either take his eyes or his air, okay? Take his eyes or his air. Forget everything else. Take his knee if you want. Put the eyes in the air. Okay? Thanks for coming up here. Okay? All right.
There's always one or two in the group, okay? Um, John, we're almost out of time. Does anybody have any questions? Anything about this? So the idea is that that, that pain, wherever I grab him, when I touch him, every time I touch him, I want to hurt him, okay? So every nerve, every two inches of your body, there's something. So if I get in here and get him to twitch, if I do Professor J stuff, I get him here, take him here, now I can just take his eyes, okay? The, the eyes, if the guy can't see you, okay, and it's, it's, you got two targets. You poke him in one eye, the other eye is gonna kinda go out, out of sympathy, okay? Because it'll start to water in that. So if you get one finger in the eye, that's, that's okay too. But you have to inflict pain on the guy if you get the opportunity to open up other areas that you can inflict some more damage. Pinching under the arm, working on the fingernail, okay? The nerves in here, there's nerves in the wrist. If you haven't started doing any of the nerve things, Get curious about it, no matter what style you're in, and try to try to get more information. That's why going to these seminars is, is so important. I encourage my people to go to as many seminars as they can and try to bring back one or two things, at least one thing from every seminar or from every instructor. Okay? Any questions? Okay. From here, we're going to do one more thing. From here, this is, this is a, uh, you get, turn this way. This is zone one, okay? I don't want to be in zone one in a fight. This is zone two, okay? This is safer for me. Zone three, I like this, especially if he's got a ponytail, okay? So what you want to do when you were doing the other thing here, this is zone two, coming around and back in zone three. So that's one of the, one of the reasons for that particular technique, okay? So to finalize this for the next two minutes, everybody get up and we just want to review what we went through, okay? So you're going to start out with this punch coming in, slap here, in. Okay, how much time we got? Okay, all right, let me do something else. Everybody just relax for a second. Does everybody anybody understand that you can do, in my opinion, you can do more damage with an open hand than you can with a fist? Okay, you can do more damage with an open hand, inflict more pain on another person with an open hand than you can with a fist, all right? If you would, just take and just punch your hand like this, okay? This is what we call pushing power, okay? When you push, okay, now hit your hand like this. Okay, now from here, now take your hand, open hand this way, come down and whip it. Yeah. Feel more pain? Okay, so when you whip this here, you're gonna inflict a little more pain, get his attention. The same with that first block that I showed you, all right? So from here, you come down like this with the, with the fingers in the palm of your hand, you're gonna, it's gonna distribute the pain a lot more with just a, an open hand strike. Now, if you turn your hand backwards and come down with the knuckles, do that whipping motion there too, okay? And then you take it where you back in this guy, or I come in here, if I open hand and I whip this in here, all right, I wanna destroy all the blood vessels in his face, okay? If I get a finger in his eye, I wanna just pop his eyeball, okay, from here. But this, kind of a slap, okay, is enough to, to really inflict a lot of pain on somebody, all right? So what I want you to do is stand up, face your partner. One partner put their hand out, okay, and just come down and just hit their palm and slap it and whip it down there, okay? Everybody do it, go ahead. And having a big red mark here, I wanna go through and do some damage to your internal organs. Okay, so when I do this to your body, okay, that's what I'm trying to do. So really, when you're striking, Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit nastier. That's why I started taking lessons in this three years ago. Okay, because this this really impressed me that that sure I can I can punch you and fracture your jaw and break some ribs and do all this kind of stuff, but if I can do something like this and, and hit you here or hit you in the face and, and, and cause more pain, okay, and destroy something, then I'm going to be happier in a street fight. I don't want to do that to you. Okay. Same principle, dumb mark. Yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah, that's way up ahead, but we're on the, on the path to the top of the mountain. Okay, we all just take different paths. This is just the path that I'm taking. Okay, so we'll all get there someday. Okay. When you, with your breathing, when you're doing that? Yeah, I hold my breath. You, you're, are you blowing out no. when you strike? No. See, it's all together different. In, in Kajikembo, we come in, we key eye when we, when we, when we strike. In the, in the Fudka system, they don't, they don't, they hold their breath. Hold. Yeah, hold the breath. Take a weight lifter, mm -hmm. lifting weights. What does he do? Where's his maximum power when he's holding his breath?
breath. That's just a little analogy. Okay? So it's completely different than what we what I've done for, for like 20 you know, we years. We give a key out when we throw it. Same. Well, yeah, that's different. Then you yeah, let it out. Two principles are both good, but for this particular type of strike and everything, it's different. That's all. It's not better, it's just different. Okay? This, when, what I'm going to do, come here, John, please. Okay? From here, okay, he did this on, on, on his palm, right? Okay, we're going to take it up here a little bit. All right? So from here, when you come down from here, this is, this is, this is, and this, this will turn bright red. I have fingerprints here. But if, if I destroy the blood vessels here, if I go full power, and the secret to, to inflicting this type of pain on somebody is not necessarily just the contact and, and the, the power that I generate from the whipping motion and everything. The breathing is the secret, okay? The breathing adds power to everything I do now, okay? So when you're, if you get into this, if you start thinking about it and, and get into the, it's called the foot goss system, all right? The breathing has the most to do with generating more and more power, all right? Then it gets into the rooting into the ground. So when I drop, I'll just do his palm, from here, when I breathe from here and then I root into the ground, the power is coming from everything. From here, heaven to earth, down. Okay. Yes. Hands turn right. Where's Dave? Please. Okay. And if I do this too much on one guy, then it, it starts getting a headache in the afternoon or something. This okay? Okay. From here, coming down. This coming down, and, and just whip this in here. What I want you to do now? Not too hard, but just come down. <laughs> come. Again. It's always happy. <laughs> okay. Come down here and hit on his on their forearm, go for it. and go. Go gently at first, all right? Just come down, get this whipping motion, all right? And then go to the other arm. But don't do too many times on, on each side. And see, see what happens. And if the guy has protruding blood vessels and everything, then he's just in more danger, okay? So you just want to get this, like a bull whip, okay? This is here, all right? And it's just a snap, bam. Okay, everybody up? And just do that whipping motion like you did on the palm, do it on the forearm. Cool. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, now just pretend like you're going right through it. Okay? Cool. Good. Good. Okay, but you're just going. Feel the difference? Yes, a little sir. bit of pain. And, it, and it, it's, it's really good. Oh, good. Yes. I can tell from the sound. Whoa! Now don't go up too high. Keep it down here. Get right in there. That's it. Yeah, so you got nerves in there. You're oh, yeah. Happy. Yeah. Okay. And we're just doing on this, this side. Okay. And so some of that for your block hand hurt inside block yeah. they'd be using that then. Yeah, Punch using a whipping it. motion, the same thing. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a little bit of that too. Okay. Oh, you want very gentle. Okay. So this is a father and son. We don't want to. <laughs> we're training him to ask for the car keys. Take us inside. Okay. You guys will be sitting around dinner going, that Bashmeyer guy. Okay. But you want this to, to whip, and it's almost like it's whipping through. Here, when you were doing it, you're, you're kind of stopping it here. You want to feel that? Oh yeah. Okay. So and that and that that's just that's not even with the breathing and everything. That's just that whipping motion coming down here and that sting. Okay. And I want it to I want it to whip through. The, the whole purpose of this is if I do this to your body, okay, I don't want to just sting the outside here. I want to penetrate the body and do some damage to the internal organs. Okay. Whatever it might be, wherever I strike you. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of that when I get up here. Uh, so you'll see, you guys are grapplers, right? You come in there. Yeah, don't do much strikes. Okay, but you come in to tackle me and stuff? Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll do this up here because I see a lot of thick geese out here. And we'll try to show you a little bit. That's great on the spine. Huh? Oh, yeah. 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 And, it, and it's just simple. Just simple. But it hurts. Okay. It did. <laughs> okay, let me have your attention. Grapplers in here. And, and you see in the ultimate challenge, and you see a lot, of, they come in to tackle you, okay? And you're, they're doing all this, this stuff, trying to do this. It always scares me that somebody's gonna get a, you know, break a spine or do something, right? You can come down here with this open hand, okay? That wasn't too hard, okay? But you're attacking the internal organs or the spine, okay? When I come down here, if I did this to the back of his head or came in on the side of his head or something like that, or actually, even if he got me in a headlock from here, do this, the same type of whipping motion on the inside of that thigh instead of pinching, because it's a very vulnerable area. Okay, so he comes in to tackle me, and this here is just, all I'm doing is what you were just doing. I'll gradually, 
Okay, this is, and I'm doing it on the lats here, so I don't hurt him too much. But if I go down here, this this will drop him. Okay, and this is harder to do in a in a physical confrontation. It's harder to do this to get the power to do any damage. But this here is from heaven to earth. Okay, come down, and then you always got this. Yes, is time up? I heard them. No, they're they're finished, aren't they? Five minutes. I'll take five. Okay, what was your question? Are you doing that before he actually grabs you? Oh yeah. You? I mean, any. Yeah. I don't want him to get his hands on me. Okay. So he's coming in. Okay. Bam! This is here. Okay. And I'm just. Bam! It's getting sore now, huh? Yes. Okay. I love ponytails. <laughs> okay. All right. He's taking a beating, but he's my youngest black belt and latest a month ago, and he's going in the Marines at the end of the year. So he needs this <laughs> to get used to it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Matter of fact, we're going to have a party to shave his head. <laughs>